Alrighty, let's roll some sushi. First thing you're gonna need is some of these here dried seaweed sheets, you know, they're called nori. And you can get them at like most grocery stores, you know, an Asian market, health food store, these things are, I mean, hell, you can't hardly leave the house without tripping over these things. Another thing you're gonna need is a sushi roller. And it's like these little bamboo sticks and they got them tied together with string and they help you to roll up your little sushi thing. Man, this thing's essential. It's cheap. When you get these sheets, they're basically just uh, pressed, dried sheets of seaweed. You know, one side's gonna be shinier than the other. And it's the shiny side that you wanna put down on your sushi roller. I got my rice all cooked up here. It's short grain brown rice. You can use white rice, brown rice, whatever the hell kind of rice you want to use. But get short grain. Short grain rice. And then when you cook it up, go ahead and throw some of this here uh, apple cider vinegar in. Because that's going to flavor it and it's going to make it sticky. And you know the rice is what you want to be all sticky, you know, because you're going to roll it up in the sticky rice. It's going to stick together. That's what, that's what makes it a nice piece of sushi. You know, you put it together wrong, you put it together like an amateur, then you know when you go to try to pick it up with your chopsticks, man, and you better pick it up with chopsticks. If you're going to eat your sushi with a fork or a spoon, then you just might as well make a hamburger or something. God damn, you know, just get you some chopsticks. So spread the rice all over your nori. Try to spread it out even. Spread it out about a quarter of an inch from the edge right there and a quarter of an inch from the back. And then leave yourself like an inch or an inch and a half on one end. And then you want to lay whatever the hell you want in your sushi right down on there. I like a little bit of smoked salmon. I like some carrots. I always put avocado in my sushi. Always. I'm going to put some asparagus. And this is some asparagus here. I steamed this up for just a, a couple of minutes. Got it soft, you know. Basically, you can slice up whatever the hell you want. And I got everything sliced about perfect length, you know, because you want your ingredients to pretty much extend all the way across the uh, rice right there. So I got it filled up with what I, what I want in there, and I got it uh, pulled to the back of my bamboo roller. So now what I'm going to do, hold my ingredients in here, and then I'm just going to roll it over one time. And then I'm going to press down, give it a nice little squeeze on top, and then across the ends. So that it rolls over and sticks real nice. See, I got one part coming out of there, I just shove it back in. You know, it's like, it's like a kid, you know, that you didn't really want. You just shove it back in. That might not be scientifically accurate. Alrighty, then you pull it back, and then you just roll it over again. Try to make it as uh, aesthetically pleasing as you can. Before I slice it into sushi and slice out the ends, I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside. Just kind of let it sit for a bit. And while that's sitting, I'll go ahead and roll me up another one here. Don't be discouraged if it don't look beautiful the first time you roll it. Might look like Rain Man made it or something. You're gonna get there. And then when you make it for your significant other sooner or later, further down the line, man, they're gonna be so impressed. I'm telling you, man, the first time I made this sushi for Camera Girl, she couldn't believe it. Now I don't have to do anything. All I have to do, if we have a fight, if we have an argument or whatever, if she does something wrong and I correct her and then she gets upset because I corrected her, all I got to do is roll up some sushi, you know, and I'm out of the doghouse. Is that right? Tell them I'm right. I told her before, never shake the camera. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we got all these here all rolled up. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one I rolled. And I'm going to start slicing them up into little sushi pieces. And the key is to have a very sharp knife. You don't want to use a dull knife for this. Kind of start on the end and cut the end off. The end's going to be kind of ragged. So you're not going to want to use that bit. You want to cut through it. And then this part here you just want to throw in your mouth. So let's go ahead and give it a nice cut. Just slice through. So there's my sushi all nice and sliced up. And I usually like to eat mine with some uh, pickled ginger slices. Got me some wasabi made up there. I love me some wasabi. This here is just a powdered mix I got uh, from the Asian store. You can use a little bit of plum sauce. I got me some soy sauce here. Let me go ahead and try one of these here. 
See how easy these chopsticks are, man? If I can use chopsticks, anybody can use chopsticks. And look how cool. Look how cool I look. You saw it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So give it a try. Bon appetit.